I didn't expect to see you here. Was that <sighs> every damn night, every damn nightmare? Uh, at least the nights are more exciting than whatever I've been up to. Uh, just what have I been up to this time? Uh, my phone. What happened to it? I had a phone, now I don't. It must be here somewhere. The back is broken in two. Maybe someone missed their sitting target. A page of the daily newspaper. Ugh, I'm going to be sick. Chief Jaeger, my former boss. Isn't that just a face even a mother would punch? Most upsetting view after waking up, or any time of day. I should just stop reading newspapers altogether. I got this music box as a present from my grandpa. I always wondered why it was so important to him. Even as a child, I found it too kitschy. I think it needs a very special key to wind it up. And I don't have it. I'll go all in and say this was today's dinner. There might be more clues about. Looks like I had a party of four, all by myself. I feel something in my memory stirring. I have all the clues I need. <laughs> I must have had a busy night. There is something more to this. If I combine this with another clue, I might be able to jog my memory. Dinner, there is something I more think. to this. If I combine this with another clue, Fried noodles, beer, and weed. My usual dinner. I was just enjoying a smoke and then I saw this face. I might have been upset about it. In my... Upsetness, I might have been tossing things around. Let's see. If I was standing here, tossing things, and my phone was one of them, from this angle, it's somewhere under the shelves. But there was no fight. At all. Well, that's depressing. Let's get you out of here. What the fuck? I have 53 unread messages. All from Johannes. I met JB, of course. And a voicemail. Hi, sis! Come and join us at the Vicen ASAP! 
vibe is great. We're, eh, what's this? Oh, we're, we're in the Volper Tinga Brow tent. Uh, and bring some cash. We're kind of running dry over here. Bye. I really don't get why my bro loves Oktoberfest so much. I mean, why go to a place to drink lots of beer when you can get perfectly drunk at home? And you don't have to put up with all the other drunken ass. Huh. I think that came from the door. Huh. Someone shoved a letter under my door. It looks very old-fashioned. It even has a wax seal. And the symbol on it is a... a frog. <laughs> it has a wax seal on it, like in those weird period dramas. Maybe I'm invited to a ball. The last event I went to seemed awful at first. But ended up being quite lit. Let's see. Huh. It looks like a poem. The one where the words matter as much as the shape they're written in. These poems have some obscure name. Kami... K Kali... Ugh, I knew it once. Yeah, Grandpa was very much into them. It doesn't matter now. O oh, daughter of the son of the seeker, go find the answer to questions unknown. Look for them at the... Brassy figure, a saint you vow exist. Ariola relit ifs. A bond between us that yet requires trust. Guess it's some sort of riddle? Leading to, a uh, Location? This is the first time in weeks I've gotten any sort of information. Might as well follow it and see where it goes. My phone. And guess what? I use it to make calls. Hmm. A newspaper article. March 13th, 2017. Motorcyclist narrowly escapes death. It's about my... Accident. Accident. Yeah, right. Assault would be the right word. They threw me out of the job. And they tried to kill me, I'm sure of it. I came too close to their lies, crimes, and corruption. Scumbags. Someday, I'll have proof. All that belonged to Grandpa. Most of it relates to that case he was always talking about. His unsolved mystery. As a child, I thought I was a bit kooky. Now, though, now I understand him all too well. Granddad's old police identification. <sighs> Wonder what he would think about his granddaughter being dismissed at age 35. I wonder if Grandma dying so early made him a bit... Uh, weird. Much like me, he had this case he was obsessed with. Unlike me, he kept a useful journal. He sure wrote a lot of things, useful and not too useful. It's a long shot, but maybe his writing can help me with that weird letter. Daughter of the Son of the Seeker. Who is the Seeker here? What I do know is that my grandpa was into these kind of poems. Maybe he collected some in his folder of weirdness? Wait, this shape. That's the Bavaria statue. Kind of unexpected. I mean, it fits though. She's the saint of the city. I wonder what it means.
The poem in the journal entry must be talking about the Torician visa. That's where the Bavaria statue is located, and the annual Oktoberfest. I guess I'll be going to Oktoberfest after all. The Bavaria statue is right next to the Wizen. Looks like I'm going to Oktoberfest after all. JB will be ecstatic. If he's still conscious. Uh, here we are, the Bavaria statue overlooking the Oktoberfest Gaudi. But I'm not here to enjoy myself. Couldn't if I wanted to. To be honest, prices are insane. JB said he'd be in the Woltinga Brow Tent. How can he afford drinks there? Focus. I need to figure out what's up with this statue. Then I can worry about JB's spending habits. Oh, didn't expect to find anything other than Bavarian folk music here. You know, I've been getting that a lot tonight. Guess that means I'm doing something right, don't you think? So, how is it playing the xylophone at Oktoberfest? Oh, it's not a xylophone. It's called a vibraphone. Sorry, my bad. Don't worry. It's an easy enough mistake to make. Playing it here is going surprisingly well. I drew quite the crowd when I was performing. <sighs> now it seems people have lost interest, though. I'm thinking about heading home. Oh, do you know anything about the statue? Hmm, not much. I enjoy going inside, though. It's also fun to climb up. There's a great view over the festival. Whose motorcycle is that? Not mine, unfortunately. There's a man who occasionally enters the statue. I think he's doing repair work inside. I had to move some of his bags out of the way. Ooh, that is a good-looking motorcycle. Whoever owns it knows what a good time looks like. All right, I'm in. Now what? Hmm, the person who wrote the letter knew my grandpa. Maybe I can find something useful in his journal. This is one of the last pages in the journal. Huh. The line looks quite weird when it's inverted. That's quite a noticeable bag. I suppose it belongs to the musician outside. A large duffel bag, large enough to store some good tools. A typical metal ladder for reaching high up places. Or normal places when you're my height. Someone left a notepad here. The notepad is empty, but this? Bavaria's statue is a key to the legacy. Maybe there's a hidden compartment. I couldn't find anything. Letter from the archive seems useless meandering, except this line. I stare from her eyes and witness my legacy. I now know where I can safely entrust my treasure to. That's it. Whose notepad is this? And why are they also looking into the Bavaria statue? Let's try something else. Huh. I can see a part of Wizen from here. From here, all I can really see are three tents. The Oltwasser tent, the De Trop tent, 
and the Wotlingerbrau tent. The riddle is likely talking about the tents I saw. But what's so special about these tents? Maybe other people know. Hey there, sis. Didn't think you'd actually show up. <laughs> Just because I didn't answer your 500 messages. Oh, I assumed that was because your grandma phone finally found peace. Hey, watch it. This phone will outlive you and me both. And how are things with you? Living the dream. I mean, outside this tent. Better than you, I can tell you. Why don't you ever respond to my calls? I just have stuff to do. Yeah, yeah, so much stuff. Like being unemployed is much work. Thanks for reminding me. Someone should look out for you. We should hang out more. Yeah, maybe. I could use a drink. Who? Bad. I'm all out of cash. Didn't you hear my voice message? But I thought you came to rescue me from soberness. Huh. The family resemblance between you two is uncanny. Hey, have you ever been inside the Bavaria statue? <laughs> nah, that lady's too tall even for me. <laughs> Hardy Har, I mean, do you know anything about her? Like, is there something hidden or something? You ask the weirdest questions. <laughs> let me, let me think. She was finished in 1850. State of the art at the time. She's cast in bronze. That's why you can go inside and see the negative shapes of all the details. She had a bit of trouble during the Third Reich. The Nazis had plans to destroy her, or at least alter her. Some say they actually did. And she hides the entry to the Hollow Earth. What? I'm just messing with you, sis. <laughs> The part about the Nazis altering her is true, though. Not sure about the hiding something. Yeah, well, thanks. Do you know anything about these beer tents? I know I like hanging out in them. What can you tell me about the trap? <sighs> Roman Catholic vanguard. Their beer doesn't even abide to the Reinheitsgeboats. And the tent? The tent? <laughs> the tent certainly doesn't abide to the Reinheitsgebot. <laughs> I forgot how annoying you are when you're drunk. What can you tell me about Wolpentingebroi? Oh, heck yeah! Wolpentingebrau! The good stuff! Anything else? Why the questions? You know, just a thing I'm investigating. Are you getting yourself in trouble again? Who made you suddenly the older sibling? I see the position like a timeshare. Anyhow, about that tent. There's like stories. Uh, hold on. Why are you taking your phone out? Because if you didn't have such a brick for a phone, you could have looked this up yourself. Ah, here it is. Wolpertinga Brow, founded in 1383. It exchanged hands over the centuries, but was eventually taken over by Joseph Schulein, pillar of the community. Until he had to flee the city, never to be seen again. Because he was Jewish, and the Nazis, they didn't like that. Real assholes, those Nazis. 
Oh, here's about the legacy. He really liked this spot. And so, ever since he fled, the tent has stood on this spot, unchanged. Because if there's anything Bavarians like more than beer, it's tradition. Linked to beer. What can you tell me about the Altwasser tent? Cheap beer with regrettable consequences. They replaced half of the alcohol with sweeteners. Who does that? What about the tent? Huh, never seen it before now. <sighs> Enough about tents. See you later. Hey, I'm back. Do you have any more information on Joseph Schulein? Uh, who now? The brewer. You just read about him on your phone. Don't expect me to remember things in this state, Juju. See you later. Hey, Doro. Enjoying the Wizen? Not exactly enjoying. I enjoy seeing you here, though. Long time no see. Yeah, surprised you left your flat. I dig your tortured ex cop shtick. <laughs> How are things going then? Alright, still love criminal psychology. Can't wait to be a mad psychological genius, a rogue detective chasing down some psychopath. Great life goal. I know! What do you know about the Bavaria statue? Not much more than what JB just told you. Ever heard of the name Joseph Schloin? The brewer who had to flee the Nazis? Typical, well-loved member of the community who grew eccentric over time. The Nazis trying to overthrow the government in his beer hall in 1923 didn't help. How do you know so much about him anyway? Munich's history is fascinating, especially the things the city's embarrassed about. Sometime I should tell you about all the witch burnings that happened here. Do you know anything about these beer tents? Maybe. What would you like to know? What can you tell me about the Detrop tent? Huh, that's some heavy beer. It's made by an order of monks called the Trappists. Much like every monastic order before them, they wanted to return to simplicity. If simplicity means high alcohol specialty beer, sign me up! Right. But is there anything special about the tent? Nothing more than whoever's sponsoring them must have a lot of cash on hand. They say it's the Roman Catholic Church trying to get us all drinking. Of course it is, JB. What can you tell me about the Voltingebroi tent? That's the tent we're in right now. Ever since I've known about Oktoberfest, it's been here, at this exact spot. Apparently, it's a tradition. What can you tell me about Altlazer? That it tastes like it sounds. It was recently launched by a big American corporation. They wanted something that sounded authentically German. If you want to get drunk for less money, that's your tent right there. Let's go there! I'm not that desperate, and neither are you. So, it's a new tent. First time they're at the Wiesen. And nobody knows how they convinced the city to allow an American corporation here at Oktoberfest. Weird stuff. <sighs> Enough about tents. Why are you so into beer tents all of a sudden? <laughs> New hobby? Just the thing I'm looking into. Nothing special. That's also what I say when I'm up to nothing suspicious at all. See you later. So, this is where they store all the old beer kegs. That's a funny looking key. I'll take it just in case. There's not much else I can find here, let alone secret compartments. All these barrels have weird symbols on them.
Joseph Schleim was the owner of the Voltingerbrau. I think this might be the relevant tent. The logo is strange. I thought the Voltinger was a rabbit thing, but here it is a lion. There were three tents in view. But what's so special about these tents? Maybe other people know. This key has four teeth that can be put in different positions. Which tooth shall I adjust? Ah! I found a reference to his key. has clicked. I can't move the teeth anymore. Looks like I solved it. Let's try something else. Hmm. No. I think they're not connected. What do these two things have in common? Shaline's legacy, the Voltingerbrau tent, the logo on the tent. He's talking about a lion! Of course, the Lion of Lady Bavaria. Guess I'm going to take a closer look at it. The Lion of the Lady Bavaria. I can possibly access it from the inside. I'll need a ladder to get to it. A typical metal ladder for reaching high places. Head. 